Welcome to another episode of Libby from my city. I am Dr. Libby. Hold up, the stick up. Whole city will shape when he hit up. Oh, part of my French. Yo, what's up? You know, it's your boy, Wings Liddy, out here doing what we do best. Yo, we already had the Subway series. If you ain't check it out, check it out in the link below. What was it? Um, Oh, VSOP Duce versus the VSO Rock. But we're switching it up to my favorite VSOP cognac, Blue Swift. And Blue Swift is a little bit of a it's a little bit of an outlier because it's finishing bourbon casks, but whatever. They're the same price, so why not? Seeing what happened with Duce and the VSO Rock. So right now we about to try it out. Let's get it on. Alright, so even though he said as an outline because it's been finished off in bourbon barrels, a VSOP is a VSOP, right? Because that's what you said in the last ep episode, right? These things were said, these things were recorded and put online, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, absolutely. Which one you want to try first? Was popping. So I, that means Brooklyn. We go hard. Indeed. And if you don't know what we do to cognacs, let them breathe. <sighs> what, 15 minutes? Yep. It's a good start. All right, people, 15 minutes is up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that calmed down a lot. Palette's ready. Very good. You say nice boy. It's the VSOP boy. You say nice boy. Mm. Spicy. Sweet. I taste cinnamon. I like cinnamon. Mm. Hint of vanilla. A little bit. Yeah, hint of vanilla. A bit more grape though. Definitely yeah. taste. Whatever barrels these are aged in, I don't know what that. I, I don't know what what different. I don't know how to differentiate between the different types of wood taste. But pause. <laughs> <laughs> Not too light on your feet anymore, huh? Pause. <laughs> and catch me out here. But delicious. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Plus sinuses too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know about the woodsy scent, but I think they should start making like these type of smells of cologne, bro. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of woodsy colognes out there, but a cognac cologne, boys. <laughs> the first one in the, the first one alive, boy. Sweet. Boy. So on to the Blue Swift. Let's see if the Blue Swift can Swiffer the Duce Brooklyn favorite away. It's a tall order, man. Duce good. Mm. Everybody, stay tuned. Swift. My favorite cognac ever. Ever, 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 never, ever, ever, so ever. It really does like Blue Swift a lot. Like, this is the only cognac I really do drink, bro. Glad I can introduce it to you again. I didn't need it. I was fine with Ciroc VS. I need no more 
French brandy or brandy like products. Well, listen, French brandies, aka cognac, does a damn thing. And I hope y'all people checked out the interview with me and um, Bars and Hoops Radio. It's pretty interesting. I'm just an interesting type of guy. That's it in those hundred so many Doing a damn thing. The link is down below. But you wanna let this breathe and be right back. Five one two three two one. He can't come. Like that people, fifteen minutes is up that quick. Yep, the blue swift has had time to breathe and it smells like grapes. At so, first it smelled like smoky barrel. And grapes. But now it just smells like grapes. Which don't get it twisted. If we had the tumblers, you know, make it happen, but we're well skilled over here to make the tumblers work. Plastic cup tumblers. <laughs> oh. Always comes in handy. So, let's see who wins this match. I'm with it. Oh, it smells so good. You got a winner? Say is more complex. The doof say it has a cleaner finish. But the blue swift is a little smoother finish. But the doof say doesn't have that slight bitterness at the end when it goes down. The blue swift does. Okay, how about this? The blue swift, the blue swift. Honestly, because the Ducey has a burn going down first. It does. It really does. It does. It's smooth when it goes down. The blue swift is smooth. Yes. The, when it goes down, it's smooth, but there's a little and bite. The blue at swift the end. is also sweeter, but yeah. it has a bigger bite at the end. Mm -hmm. The Ducey has a smoother finish. So now I think we're at a crossroads. That we are. Because I'm thoroughly not being biased. I feel like. Hold on. The Duce has. More of a great I, flavor. As I said, a more complex, complex flavor, flavor. Where well, you could taste the grape, you could taste a little bit of vanilla and the cinnamon. This is just straightforward. Where mm -hmm. it it goes down like a smooth bourbon. It does, and that could be due to the fact that it's finishing the bourbon barrels. But mm. I don't know. Um, I can pick out the flavors in the Douce better. Yeah, yeah. The Blue Swift is a little bit more. Muted in its flavors, pretty much, mm. but it coats the palate better. Like it, if you put, if you, how you taste things is you're supposed to different taste receptors, different regions on your tongue have different taste receptors, which is a lot of taste receptors, pretty much, because there's basically a groove for every taste in the book. Yes, but the receptors for sweet are on the back of the tongue. No. So, when the blue swift hits the sweet taste receptors, it explodes in flavor, and I like that. However, as I said, there is a slight bitterness at the end. This is a really close match. It's 
is a really close match. This is really, this is this is really good. This is so. There has to be a winner. It does, and there's going to be. Indeed. Complexity with sweetness and a bite at the end, mm-hmm. which, not to mention, the douce had a bitter taste at the end. Mm. But the Martel has more of a bitter, bitter taste. taste. But its flavors are a bit more, how you say, cohesive. Mm. It feels like it's a Tyson versus Mayweather. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing with you. I'm just playing. I'm just acting stupid. Well, this ain't definitely a Jake Paul versus Tyron. Don't get me started on that, please. <laughs> Do not get me started on that. Okay. Point to the bottle that you want to win. It's not that I want to win, but that you thoroughly enjoy. I like the flavor cohesiveness of the Martel. The cohesiveness, honestly, it. It's a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down, and honestly, it feels like you're having a. F- that feels like you're having a blissful time with the bourbon ending, sure. with the cognac beginning. The bite at the end, it gets as you as, as you notice as I sipped it more, I started complaining less and less about the bite at the end because initially it hits you, and then after that. Once you let it wash over the palate, it kind of dissipates and goes again into the co- with the cohesiveness of the rest of the flavors that are Martel Sweet. Honestly, it's this will go well with a steak. It's a lot of car- it, it just said grapes, caramel. No, yeah, like this will go well with a dinner. This will go well with it a will. dessert. Montel Blue Swift. I'm not to say the Duce wouldn't, but Montel Blue Swift is very nice. And it's the winner of this comparison. So, we all know to keep it litty. For your city. Drink responsibly. And please, y'all people open your minds up to cognac a little bit more often. There's more in the world than... Give me that head nah.